today I'm going to show you how to change your front cover and front screen and back cover to white. Okay, uh, there's the back cover and also the button to white. Now it does take a little bit of time. First thing you need to do is turn your iPhone 4 off. Okay, and once that's come off, then it's probably best to remove your SIM tray now. So we do that next. I'm just going to pop that out. Okay, so that's out of the way. We'll put them completely out of the way. Then you've got to remove the two screws at the bottom of the iPhone 4. Okay, so Osline is best to take them out, put them with the item that you've taken off, and then when you change anything, you can use the screws again. Okay, now we're going to remove the battery itself. Now there's a little cover that holds the battery plug into place. So we take that off. Okay, and this, the screws are so small, it's ridiculous. And just take your time, whenever you're doing this, you've got to be patient and nice and easily. Okay, there's several tools you need. You need a Phillips screwdriver, a prying tool, and you need a flathead screwdriver. Okay? Now, I'm just going to pop the battery plug off and using the tab just remove the battery itself. Now, it's stuck down so you will have to sort of pry it a little. Okay? Once that's done, put the battery with the battery cover and its little bolt and you'll know where that is. Next thing you've got to do is remove this plate. Okay? This plate has five screws. One, two, three, four, five. So I'll just start removing them. Okie dokie, so now take that cover off and put all of the screws with that. Okay, so just move them over. Now, next thing to do is disconnect all of the sockets. Okay, you've got several to disconnect, and you just pull them up using the prying tool nice and gently, and they'll unplug. Okay, there's three, there's five all together. Okay. Three that way, one that way, two that way. Okay. At this point, you can also remove the camera. So we'll unplug that. Just take a little bit of prime. Again, it's got a socket. So we take that out as well. We we'll put that there. You know what that is? Okay. We'll leave that stuff down. Now, next, I'm going to remove this plate. This plate, there's a plug under there that we need to remove. So we'll take one out. Two out. There's two screws for this. One large and one small. Or larger than the other. They're both very small. We'll take that off. Okay. And we'll put both screws together. Like that. Now we'll unplug it. Out. Okay. Now there's a screw under this that you need to remove to disconnect this. Okay. And that's what we're going to do next. Okay. That's undone. There's one this side. Sometimes they get stuck, so leave them. Right, now there's a little socket that goes onto there, and you need your flat headed screwdriver and be very gentle when you pop it off. Okay, so just relieve it, and that should come out. And you should be able to get your prying tool and just pull this up. It does come in there quite tight, but it will come out. Okay, so you leave that there. And I'll get the other the other bolts in a minute. Okay. Now, got to remove several other bolts. Okay. So I'll start doing them, and then hopefully the motherboard will come out. Just make sure everything's out of the way, like so. Oh, we've got one here. Okay. Just make sure
six bolts along here, three and three, and then four corners. Okay? You do have to remove the vibrating block as well, so we take that out first. This again has two different length of screws, so it's best to keep them together. That's one. one is really small, one's really big, so it's not difficult to remember where they go. But you need to make sure you've got the right size. Okay. So we'll put that in there. That's a good one. Now there's a bolt there, one there, one there, one there. Okay, and then six down the middle. So you've got ten bolts to take out the nuts or screws if you like. And they are very, very small. The four in the corner are the same size, and the six on either side are the same size. Once you remove them, it will release your front screen and front cover. So just take your time and just don't rush because these are so small, it's very easy to lose. What I find is best is to buy a set of spare screws just in case. You can get a full set from SW Box for just over $3. So it pays to invest in that because you will drop some. And they're so hard to find. There's number three. As you can see, it's very tight. Take the six down the side. Now these have got washers on them. Again, they're finicky, difficult to take out, difficult to put back rather. And make sure you keep the washers there because that will be needed. See the washers stuck. Yeah, make sure you put them together. Okay. So there's six of these you've got to take off, and that will release your front screen. Okay, don't you? So that's that. Now you've got to take your front cover off. Some people find it easy to get their nails in like that. Once you've got your nail in, it's best to get the prime tool and just run it all the way around. As you can see, that'll start coming out. Now it's stuck down, so when you do it, it can be quite difficult to get it started. So you can, if you're careful, push down the sides open it like that okay once you've got it open you should be able to start wiggling it out but it needs to come out square then when you do that make sure you push the front screen the two wires through the hole okay that's that done so there is your old one off. Now we've got to have a look at this. Okay, we need to obviously change this. How we do that, we need to find out. On here, there's a little, a little ball that we need to push off. Maybe we can leave that on. And try and take this off. Yeah. Looks like you can just peel this off. Yeah, it's coming. Thank you, thank you. Once that's off, as you can see, that's came off. Okay, we'll replace that with this. So there's no actual wires to change or anything, which is a good thing for beginners in this. I can assure you it's not the easiest things just to 
to just decide you're going to do. Okay? Stick it back down and you should <coughs> be able to just pop that into place. Hopefully, yes. Now, once you've done that, just check the button's working. You can, if you can hear that, you'll know it's working. Okay, so we'll leave that into place. And now what we do is we just pass on this. You've got to take off the protection screen. Now try not to touch the screen itself, otherwise you're going to leave fingerprints on it. Which I know is not the easiest of things. It's easier to say than actually do, but it's best if you try. Take them through. Make sure they go all the way through before you push this down. So what you want to do here is just give them a tug. Be gentle, but you can you can pull them. They're not so fragile that you can't touch them at all. So you know, don't be afraid to give them a gentle tug. Just make sure they're not going to get stuck. Okay? And you should just be able to clip that down into place. Come down quite nicely. It seems all in place. Yeah. Okay, now all you've got to do is reverse the procedure and put it all back together. Okay. Okay, once you've got it all back together, pretty much the same as how you took it off, just follow the same procedure, put all of the screws back in, clip everything back on and put the screw covers back on. Once you've done that, then you can get your new cover, okay, just check it over, make sure it's all okay, pop it on, now that's it, make sure it's clipped down nicely, slide it down, put your two screws back in, Put your sim back in. Yeah, it's turning on. Now you can remove your stickers. This one. You can, it's optional whether you leave the front one or not. I'm going to take it off just for the video purposes. Okay, buttons responding fine. All the other buttons are ready. Says I've got no battery. Okay, it's all working fine. No problem. Just check the top button. Okay, and there you have it. A nice white iPhone 4. Looks stylish. It's good, obviously new screen, and it's a little bit different to the black one. A little bit more stylish, I think. Okay. If you're interested in this sort of thing, then you need to go to swbox.com, and you'll be able to find everything you need to do the changes. I will say that it is a little bit difficult. It's, it's very finicky because of the screws and everything that's so small, so make sure you set yourself a good hour, hour and a half to do this change. Okay, it's not something you can do in 10 minutes purely because of the size of everything. It's easy to take it apart, but to put everything back is slow. It's a long process and everything has to go back in exactly the right place. Otherwise, the covers on the front and the rear just will not fit. Okay, so there you have it. If you're interested, pop to swbox.com.